हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ राजकुमार अमीना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इंग्लिश पोस्टेड एट बी एस आर आर्ट्स कॉलेज अलवर टुडे विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल मेक यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एटीन सेंचुरी लिटरेचर एंड इट्स फीचर सो वी स्टार्ट विद द हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड ऑफ एटीन सेंचुरी लिटरेचर विच वॉज अवेल एंड प्रजेंटेड एट इन द इंग्लैंड एंड स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड the 18th century in england was not so controversial as the later half of the previous century like the age of elizabeth king augustus it was the era of peace stability and common sense james ii fled to france in 1688 and william iii ascending brought political stability but the spanish war which started in 27 year 1702 proved dangerous to william iii and he died as he entered the war in year 1702 his queen mary had already died in year 1694 hence any marys sister and the james second's daughter was the only person who could be ascend any was ascended the throne just after the death of william but she could not rule over england for a long time he died he he died in year 1714 but before her death he she tried to bring political stability he died in year 1714 but before her death she tried to bring political stability it was in her reign when the act of unity was passed in year 1707 according to this act the great britain was formed after uniting scotland and england industries were started to set up in england and it was the time for the rise of middle class in year 1714 after death of queen anne george i became the king of england who ruled over england till year 1727 in his reign both the tories and the wing enjoyed the power George II succeeded the George I and in his region power was the monopoly of the Whigs the Tories were always from the power the George II ruled for the next 32 years and died in year 1760 in 1760 George III succeeded the George II and with the succession Tories came into power again. He was an absolute ruler. The king hated the Whigs as enemies of the royal power. The publication of newspaper, which was started into the region of Queen Anne in year seventeen zero two, with the first newspaper, the Daily Courant, had now. attained the perfection it had became the medium to show the plan and the policies of the empire george iii ruled england till his death in year 1820 the social condition in 18th century in england is remarkable for the rise of middle class after the union of scotland and england the progress was imperative above all the position of trade and commerce was going higher machines were made and the small industries were set up people were prospering but the prosperity with the discoveries wise in the man with the rise of middle class many pubs coffee houses dance groups bars clubs and schools were also established and increased in number this age was completely for the 
aristocratic society and literature was confined to the cities only people outlook was becoming materialistic and pompous in the queen anne's period the cities were very filthy the streets were unlighted the position of law and order was not very good the incident of robbery and looting were common it was not possible for the people to walk along the road alone even in the dead time bastards were born and thrown the same night to the roadside with the economic prosperity the contemporary society of 18th century was suffering from many biases in the first half of 18th century both political and social progress was bewildered sir robert wolf who became the first prime minister of england in year 1721 held the office under the first to george from 1721 to 1742 and distinguished himself as a great piece of time prime minister he was really dedicated to the peace at home and abroad his peace afford failed with the incident of jackmin era jenning was the captain who whose ear was chopped by the spanish customs officer it caused much furor a great anger showed by a group of a people in england and was considered so prestigious matter that walpool was compelled much against his will to declare war against spain the incident involved england in a great war with france till year 1748 the english were defeated by the french and the war could be ended in year 1748 with the peace the treaty ex la chapel in the later half of 18th century the people of england had to suffer from the bitter effects of seven years war with france from 1766 to 1763 the american revolution in 1775 and the french revolution in year 1789 and 99 these political changes affect the society they found themselves in a struggle for personal liberty they were discovering their neighbor both in wigs and jewelry in catholics and in protestant so in the in the end we can say that uh, 18th century was the period of middle class emerging middle class was uh, was the special feature of this era and the people were moving towards a towards a sustainable growth and needs peace and prosperity for themselves to achieve goals in their lives